Hey guys, we're here and welcome to Project Peer Pressure. I've got this guy with me today, Richard Haynes, realtor extraordinaire and fellow USC Trojan. Fight on. Fight on. We're here today and I wanted you guys to meet Richard because Richard is actually the one that brought me into the fold for this project because of the space, right? Yes. We knew we had to bring you in here. You know the beach. I do. You know how to work in tight spaces tight. here and you needed to make this feel a lot bigger it than did. what it was. It was sad. It was sad and small. And so Richard actually called me and said, I know you don't really do these like smaller condo style projects, but we are family friends. Yes. I know the owners. They're adorable. They really are. And they love you. And I love them. And so they said, please help us. And so we said, okay, right? This was filled with kind of builder grade finishes, yes. right? So mm -hmm. it was kind of already like this contemporary box that we couldn't really change. Mm -hmm. So we had to make it coastal, elegant, and like a little bougie, but without breaking a wall, which you know, is really hard for me. Totally. And really it's the, the space, you couldn't touch anything. So right. we knew we had to Elevate it all Elevate. with furnishings only, art, totally. wall, light fixtures. One thing I think that we talked about when we first walked in here, you and I, was it's so tight. Mm -hmm. They were like, how are we going to fit seating for six, eight, even maybe 10 people in this tiny space, right? right. Because they all have their primary residences, which are much larger than this. Yes. So when the kids come and the grandkids come, what are we doing? One of the tips, that we talked about is maximizing the space, right? So double sofas and then the swivel chairs. And we talked about this where nobody believed me this would fit, right? I can't believe you fit it in here, yeah. it's amazing. But when you scale it out and you maximize with seating and larger pieces actually make the space feel larger. Yes, and I see kind of what you did here. You made this longer this way. Right. Because your view is your yes. money view. Yes, and the elongation makes it feel that much bigger. Totally. But... It's VIP only here over here, okay? It's VIP only. Yes, the space is more contemporary. Are our clients contemporary? Absolutely not. No chance. No chance. No. They are, they are grandparents. Old school. <laughs> yes. And so doing this in a way that was comfortable for them, comfortable for them to feel like it is theirs, mm -hmm. we had to balance that with the actual architecture, which is super contemporary. Totally. So we love this space and the view is killer. Like you don't even need a TV. You can just watch people no, you don't. on the beach. I mean, day. I'm gonna sit there yeah. or there and not and just swivel. I turn. mean, I am keeping my key. So you know. <laughs> Sorry, it's yours. Yeah. The owners it's don't even have key. it. Sorry, guys. This looks like a kitchen from back when you and I did a modern farmhouse oh back God. in 2013. We did our first project together and we were like white and on white. This has been done before in and unfortunately everywhere. it's too new. So we're right. not going to rip it out. Right. And, and so tell me what you did to kind of make this space So first work. I cried mm -hmm. because it literally makes me sad to see this countertop. But then I got over it, right? Because yes. they were like, look, we'll give you all that money and you can use it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. So we just made it kind of disappear. We kept the gray countertops, we kept the cabinets white, but we did change out the hardware. And I feel like that's a super easy, inexpensive fix. Totally. To add contrast. And your common person thinks like, oh, my cabinets are there, so my hardware is there. Mm -hmm. And it's not, right? You can, that's like the cheapest fix you can find. Ever. I know these are amazing knobs. They are not the cheapest. They're not the knobs. cheap, but like, to not pop this right. off or do a new backsplash, it changes the look. They're it's almost, cheaper. What is it? The jewelry. The jewelry of the kitchen. Of the kitchen. That you say? There you and go. they're cheaper than a remodel. Yes. Yay! So we did that. We changed out the light fixtures, which were, I think they were like bedazzled blue. They weren't this. They and weren't thankfully, you were like, no, <laughs> no blue, no beach this way, right. no Serena and Lily. No signs. We don't do science. Yes. We know where the ocean is. We don't need a picture of the pier because guess what? It's right there. there. We don't need surfboards because they're right there. Right. So we wanted to elevate it, right? Because this is not a frat house, okay? This is not a college apartment. These are people with grandchildren. These are people who are having yes. dinner parties, okay? So no beach signs. We just moved three inches and now we're in the dining room. This is a significant table right? for the space. Don't you think so? yeah. I can't believe you fit this much in here right. and that you can sit eight people comfortably. This is comfortably. a tiny space. It's tiny. 
Yes. But we had to, and like I said, maximizing with your clearances, you mm -hmm. know, still making it comfortable for people to walk. I think people think they need more room between mm -hmm. their furniture pieces than they really do, right. Right? right? And they're like, oh, if I have more room between my pieces, it'll make people think my space feels bigger, but it's just the opposite. Totally. So giving these regular size pieces, no apartment furniture, right? Doing an actual chandelier over the dining table, everyone was concerned about like, I'm gonna lose my view. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, you don't lose any view. No. It's li we're on the it's, ocean. It's another feature Correct. of the view that is pleasing to the eye. Correct. I think adding the element of a little bit of delineation here mm -hmm. was huge. Totally. And now it feels like a dining space. We added the great abstract pieces, which I think- Is that a diptych? It is. Oh my God, I love you. I learned from you. Oh, okay, so two pieces of art next to each other. Yes, diptych. diptych. Can we talk about the people that are here? Yes. Do you think they like contemporary art? Were you surprised to see this? I wasn't, because I follow all your stuff, because it's amazing. I wasn't surprised to see this. They were surprised. I think that they were surprised yes. just because they're grandparents. Yeah, and they're more traditional. The type of thing that they have in here. But I, my guess, and I haven't talked to them. Okay. I think that they loved it. They loved it. Yes. Yes. And so I think sometimes what we like to do is when we're asking our clients to think outside the box, mm -hmm is to like get it in here, hang it up. And I say, if you don't like it, I'll take it home. You can take I'll take it, it to my stores. Yeah. It'll be at Kate Lester home on totally. sale. Finding a killer art piece that speaks to the taste of the clients, that speaks to the influence of our surroundings, which is huge right here. Yeah. You know, we started with this actually, and then we kind of developed the palette outward. We knew we wanted the, you know, the terracottas. We wanted a little bit of that dusty blue, mm -hmm. which you know I love. Of course. You know, we, we wanted to, Keep away from navy. Keep away from bright white. Like mm -hmm. more elevated, more Seafoam interesting. Seafoam green. Yes, no, no turquoise. Please, okay. Stop. So mm -hmm. we wanted to get away from that, and this I thought was like a great jumping off point. Also has a little black because you know I think black is contrast. It's yes. good. I was hoping that they would be pleasantly surprised, and they were. Their good. first words when they came in were, "Oh my god, I don't hate this at all." <laughs> that was my mom. I feel like yes. <laughs> Of course, this is our new dinnerware line from Kate Lester okay. Home. You know how to plug it. Are we the first ones to get it? <laughs> yeah. You're like, no, yeah. other be, okay, yeah, good, sure. all right, looks great. You have a, your custom set. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. And so the next set's going to your house. And so I think that this was something really great for them to see, that they could take a chance. It didn't have to be white plates or it didn't have to be, you know, from Pottery Barn or whatever. What about the texture yeah. and maybe the detail here? We know that the front door is like right there, right? Mm -hmm. So when you walk in, we knew right away that we wanted to have something aside from a great light fixture and great art to catch your eye, right? And nothing is worse than like a terrible back of a sofa or a terrible back of a chair. So the detail that sort of almost like the cushion was wrapped over and through yes. the wood bar. So cool. So cool, right? I love Unique, it. interesting. And we did have these custom upholstered in sort of a more durable fabric, a little Thank more forgiving. You. Thank you, bless I did that you. just for your children. Thank you. I heard they're the messiest of the bunch. <laughs> they are messy. What this do you think? This looks so good. It's great. I right? love this. Isn't it great? I'm slowly scanning and I'm seeing this. Everything that we and I look fit at, in here. Look at these. I know, isn't it great? Detailed, love it's all it. in the detail. I love it. Okay, so it was so cute when it was staged. There was like a bed and like a little tiny chair yeah. and everybody was like, oh, it's so small in here. And so when I proposed the huge upholstered bed, the chair and the dresser, again, they were like, that's not gonna fit, but we guess we trust you. And I was like, trust they what do trust I always you. say, guys? Trust, trust me. you. Okay, so they did. First thing we did was wallpaper. So I don't know if you can tell, but we did the grass cloth wallpaper. I'm not traditionally like a grass cloth mm -hmm. lady, but I felt like it was my way of compromising a little bit with it, right? So like, they really liked that whole beach-inspired concept. Right. And I thought, okay, if we can use that as our backdrop, it gives me the texture. And this room sports. needed texture yeah, stone because it was literally floor and white. That's it, just everything. We still are going with those coastal textures. Of course. But again, nothing too literal, so mm -hmm. the blues are like a little off, mm -hmm. and there's like some terracotta, there's right. some other colors. Beautiful. Right, and then a little sandy texture everywhere. We did some brown, right? Yeah. Taupey brown, which people mm -hmm. would be like, why? But the, like the ocean, the sand, taupey brown. Yeah, So exactly. we use nature as our palette. I love here. it. So right. let's talk about this because I this love this great. piece. Yeah. So this piece actually doesn't come in this color. I had it custom painted. So I do that a lot where I'll pick something and mm -hmm. maybe it's not available in what I want, but the dimensions are right and the vibe is right. 
And I'm like, oh, you know what? Have one of the girls put it in Photoshop in a different color. I'm like, yep, that's it. That Let's works. Do it. Yes. So we did. We painted it in actually like a matte finish, so mm -hmm. it wasn't super shiny. And I think that just like this whole moment just pops with the art, the little bit mini gallery wall. I love right? the art. Yeah, I love a it. Weird, the right? face, and okay. I also I don't know if the camera can see it, but it pops out yeah. like there's even a, a funkiness dimension. right yes dimension is it's not yeah. funky it's dimensional my goal was like for them to come here and be like this is a little weird i wouldn't have put this here mm -hmm. that's great that's i don't awesome. want you to like because if somebody else could have done this what do they need me for right, right? Exactly. how am i gonna make the big bucks <laughs> that's why you make the big okay, bucks good. <laughs> Phew, i'm still worth it <laughs> just checking you guys okay another thing we did in here is the bathroom was really builder grade it was well Fine. done enough for the time 10 right. years ago, but now it needed a refresh. So you kept the countertop, which we you had did. to. I had to. I see more jewelry. More here. jewelry, and we painted. And you painted, yep. but like, these lights yeah, and are we maximize. so cool. Right? So and then to add this contemporary touch with the squared off. Normally right? you see it's the full thing or it's a circle. It's like glued yes. on the, <laughs> the wall, that mirror. Yes. You know? This has some oomph to it. It does. So really just kept it simple in here, yeah. some great florals, you know, just did the basics. And I think that this is not obviously where we're going to be hanging out. We're going to mm -hmm. be hanging out in the room with a view. Yeah, but it so. fits with all the amazing, amazing furnishings you yeah. put in. Black, Love black it. is back. Well On done, track. Kate. Nice work. So now we are going guest room. I feel like this is where you'll be staying when yes. you drive. The two ah, miles. Ah, yes. Up. I love this yes. space. Tiniest ass room ever. It's, it's. So tiny. Tiny. Right? But again, you pulled off making the space feel so much bigger. Right? Can we talk about. What this, happened? This headboard? <laughs> yeah. It's actually a fully integrated bed headboard situation. Okay. Wow. And my team will probably tell you they never want to do one again. But yes. it was an endeavor. It was so great. And we even. You can't really see it, and I don't know if I'll be able to get it, but we even did little cutouts for the outlets. I can see yeah. it right here. That's so cool. an amazing They're touch. They're a little hidden. This was the way for me to trick the eye. I couldn't really make the room feel taller, even though I did mount the shade all the way up at the yes. ceiling. Totally. Even see though that. the window doesn't go all the way up, that's mm -hmm. a little trick for you. Take that away today, kids. It also gives me like a wow factor moment with the lights and stuff. There is like hand stitching on the shade. These are made by hand. Oh. Is that brass on it the is. side of it there? Okay, I just said brass, not gold. Of course. I love it. Yes. If you're see? selling high-end real estate, you need to know you these need things. You need to know these and things. And I see how it's affixed to the wall it as is. well, which yeah. is so cool because most lights, you just see one thing on there, that right there. The electrical coming down. I feel like it's like it's a sexy so, light. Yes, yes, it's so cool. We're giving, we're bringing sexy back one light fixture at a time in your Absolutely. family's home, <laughs> which is no more, no, se no more sexy time in here. No more babies. For me. Okay, you're babied out. Easy. Okay, no Easy. more babies. All right. Well then, this is the non-sexy guest yes. room that is super boring and late. And so again, we just kept it neutral. Mm -hmm. I didn't know who was going to be staying in here, so right. we we sort of thought of these rooms like almost like a luxury hotel, right? right? So we wanted to keep that coastal aesthetic, but in here we made it a little more moody because I thought like, if I stayed in here, you stayed in here, or any of those fabulous people we know will be staying in here, that it'll be like a little bit more interesting and maybe deeper color palette than the primary, yes. right? Less, mm -hmm. a little less serene and a little more interesting. Sure. We are literally almost done with the yeah. tour because it's a beach it's house. tiny. It's a baby house. Yes. yes. So one more space, the powder room slash random shower in the powder room. Let's go Right ahead. across the hall. Let's go. Okay. We are in, literally, we're in the bathtub. Yes. But we are literally in this powder room that doubles as a as the guest, shower. It's the guest bathroom yeah. as well. So we want to make sure that this space was accessible and you could utilize it ish, but we also wallpaper the shit out of it because we need to do something cool in here. I've been waiting to talk about the wallpaper. Let's talk about it. Because you and I feel like I've had a love affair of wallpaper Always. going back 10 years ago. And I know it's kind of had a like rebirth, a yeah. yes, of sorts, and it should have never gone out of style, and it's fun, and it if is. you screw up, you can always do a new one, yeah. or you paint it, like, have fun with this. I mean, it's just money, and, it's like, we got, just... I mean, Richard has a bunch of it, so it's Stop. not luxury it's real estate. It's not a lot of square footage, <laughs> it's not, it's you not. know, it's, it's worth taking a risk. It has a great, like, kind of sand, vibey texture, coastal texture, yeah. and then it still feels sophisticated. So like yeah. it's fun, but it's not a floral mm -hmm. because like this is too contemporary for that, right? Yeah. 
And so this was it. This also came in a in a more subtle color way, mm -hmm. and we brought that one. And I said, I'm only bringing you that one to show you what we're not gonna do. Well, I saw what you did too with the samples because you're so good at your job. Kate leads the client to the right decision. I do. Just trust me. Trust the process. Right. Oh my God. You know we love that. Trust the process. Trust the process. Trust the process. Love Get it. in the bathtub. This is why you spend billions. This is a lot price per square foot. Billion dollars a square foot. This You're basically paying for this. This. This is yeah, it. Right here. Right here. I think you made the space feel bigger again. I know okay. that's a theme. It is. But the fact that you fit in two areas to sit and right. there's still room, tell right. me how you figured that out. Well, I mean, measuring, right? Doing drawings is important. Geometry. And also, I went to USC just like you did, so obviously we're super smart. Yeah. Um, so that, that helps us. And so um, aside from that, I have a really talented team who do those drawings yes. for me, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. And are like, OK, did you pick that? That's not going to fit. So we did make sure everything fit properly. Again, know your real life clearances, right? Like right. the book says one thing mm -hmm. where they're like, you need this much between the coffee table and chairs. But in real life, do you really? And what are people comfortable with? Yes. So we actually take a lot of time in our projects measuring those real life clearances and knowing that we can get away with you know things being a little tighter mm -hmm. if we want to maximize, right? right? Outdoor furniture is notoriously uncomfortable. Yes. I'm sorry for any outdoor brand that wants to sponsor me. I mean, I can say the opposite if you need me to. But it's not really that comfortable. Comfortable, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, because of the fill of the cushions needs to be durable. We had these recovered in this great uh, indoor outdoor fabric, so cool. softer, a little bit more interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, you know, we did the best we could with giving it a little bit of life and texture, adding in the contrast again, and just bringing in things that we thought were a little bit unexpected, a little interesting, but nothing too dramatic yes. because this is your drama. This is what you're going to. Right? Like, yeah. we don't need mm -hmm. wow factor right here. We are the wow factor, it's, and then this is the wow factor. This is the wow right? factor, So yes. we're wowing. OK, so that's it. We did the tour. And Kate, I feel like you did an amazing job. Thank you. You made it feel bigger. You brought in them modern, energy. contemporary touches. Thank you for the black, the You're terracotta. Welcome. I did it for you. You really. nailed everything. It made my heart I really flutter. did it. Because you know what? These houses. If they're not furnished right, you're going to lose money on your investment. Right. And I think you've elevated it to where it's going to be enjoyed. And if they're selling the it, they're just thing. selling it to you or me. So yes. thank you for coming to my small space TED Talk. Good. And we're here. We had a great time. And like, let's crack open the Modellos. Let's do it. I mean, I don't know. We'll I see you it. later. Bye.